flipping between blocks to look at the results, to compare results, still quite awkward, especially if you have a lot of uh, data to look at. Let's say if we run any simulation. And I will turn on hourly data as well. This will take a little while to, a little longer to run and load data back. So, well, you see what I mean. There are differences, but it's quite difficult to tell where the differences are exactly. Now, that's another tool we can use, luckily. That's the Design Builder Results Viewer application. You can click on that button, say Wheel Energy Plus Results, and this will bring up the Design Builder Results Viewer and load your simulation results into a separate window. And first, let's look at the Run Period tab, uh, because we want to see how the annual total heating consumption and cooling consumption compares between between these two cases. Those output are called uh, zone air system sensible uh, heating or cooling rate. So let's uh, let's say this is this is for heating. I'll double click on that that brings up the data and we want the alternative zone as well. So you can see well, it, it appears to be have a big difference, but if you read the numbers, they are really actually quite similar. Now, if you bring up the cooling rate, uh, cooling consumption as well, then that becomes a very a little more interesting. You see, the heating consumptions are, are actually quite similar, but there's a big, big difference between cooling in case with a larger window has much higher, twice as high of cooling demand than the smaller window case. Now, also you can tell in this situation, cooling is dominant. Why is this the case? That's the question for you to find out. Is that because you made any mistakes in setting up the model, or it's just, it's just the case? That's for you to find out. Okay, so in our simulation settings, we have requested hourly data to be generated by the simulation. So let's take a look at the temperatures in those uh, in those two zones and uh, see how they compare. Now let's find the temperatures. So if you sort the units, this one is the zone mean air temperature for the base case. So double click on that to open it. And also let's uh, show the mean radiant temperature for the base case as well. So that's this one, right? And now let's add a new chart to show the alternative case with uh, larger windows. That's mean air temperature here and the mean radiant temperature here for the alternative zone. So again, you can see quite clearly the two profiles are quite different, right? You can, you can see some kind of baseline here, uh, and that's 24 degree. Um, whenever the mean air temperature is at the baseline, that would mean the air conditioning is on, so cooling is on. And uh, if you compare in the two cases, obviously, the one with larger windows will have uh, more extended hours to have uh, cooling on. Is that consistent to your expectations? And in the heating case, on both on both cases, it's less uh, pronounced. So the heating temperature set point is uh, 22 degrees, so you can kind of see the line here. So whenever the mean air temperature is at that level, that means heating is on. So you can probably say that heating is on more slightly more often for the case with a smaller window than with larger window. Right, let's zoom in a bit and see how they keep compares. 
Well, first thing you note is uh, when the larger when the window is big, the temperature can both temperatures can shoot to quite high levels. So during the weekdays, you see when the cooling uh, kicks in and forced temperature to 24 degrees and as soon as it's off the air temperature will rise and during the weekend it can go up to very high it, the problem is much less severe for that with uh, smaller windows right but in either case during the summer the mean radiant temperature stays above the air temperature nearly all the time now if you don't remember what mean radiant temperature is, well Google it. <laughs> it's quite easy to find out and it's quite easy to understand. So let's look at the winter period here maybe. So again you see when the win window's large, you especially for the mean radiant temperature, it goes it can go quite high in in this case, and uh, much lower in the in the case with uh, the smaller window. Another thing to note is uh, you see the heating set point is twenty two degrees, but sometimes you see temperature at twenty four degrees, you know, and stays there. So what what's happening here? This is actually telling you that cooling is actually on at that moment, and that doesn't seem to be right, isn't it? So, if you're seeing that, I probably should go back to the model and uh, see if there's anything you need to change. So, by comparing the two cases side by side, you can discover a lot of things. We have only changed the window size in these two, in our two comparison cases, but you can actually change many things and anything and to compare the effect of changes. And when you see something, you should uh, make a judgment, say if it makes sense or not. And if it doesn't, then you need to figure out why.